guys, it's Tina and Billy. We are redoing the glider today. We're very, very excited. So, as you can see, we've got all the cushions taken off. I'm going to show you all of that in a second, in addition to like the fabric medium and everything that we're going to use because we are going to be painting the cushions. Um, we've never done this before. I don't know how it's going to come out. Hopefully, good, but you know, we'll see. It's a learning process. So, basically, what Billy's doing here is, of course, he's got you know the glider parts here. This is the footstool and the actual chair, and he's just spray painting it. He is using a Rust-Oleum Ultra Cover Paint and Primer 2-in-1 uh, Semi-Gloss White Paint. Um, it looks like it's coming out good. He did say he had some problems though with like the little nooks and crannies because we didn't want to take apart the entire thing, like take the screws out and all that stuff to like, you know, spray paint the individual pieces. Um, so he's doing it, but he's a really good spray painter, so I have faith that he's going to get that done um, very nicely for me. So, um, so, so yeah, this is where we're at right now with the chair, and then I'll show you guys what's going on with the cushions. Okay, so here are the cushions I pulled off of the glider. All I did is um, obviously took everything off. You know, it's got the seat here, the back, um, the arms, and then the cover for the ottoman as well. And then the next thing I'm gonna do, oh, I took a lint roller and I went over these really, really well just to get off any, you know, cat hair or dust or anything that was on them. The next thing I'm gonna do is just take some scissors here and then cut off, you know, all of the tags here so that I have a nice um, area to paint with and that they aren't in the way when I'm painting. Um, I'm using Pinterest as, uh, a tutorial that I found on Pinterest as a um, guideline. And basically, she said to use acrylic paint. So this is actually the same exact paint that we used on the wall in the nursery. So this is what was left over that we had after we painted the room. Um, so I'm gonna be using this. Then also you need to have a fabric medium. She recommended this one made by Delta. I got this on Amazon, I think it was $6. And then the next thing you're gonna need is a spray bottle full of water. And the ratio that she says to mix it at is one part paint, one part fabric medium and two parts water to paint the fabric so that's what we're doing right now okay so i've got all the cushions laid out here what i did is i put them with the like good side facings down because i'm going to start with the backs of these just in case you know just while i'm getting the technique down i guess so that way you know in case anything gets screwed up this part of the cushion here is like facing the floor so it will be less visible than the other side so that way at least i can just get a hang of what i'm doing first and now i have my spray bottle of water here the first step is to just dampen the fabric so i'm going to just spray all the cushions down and just get them damp and then i'm going to start painting okay i've got the first cushion painted and i just wanted to show you guys what i'm using to paint it's just this little foam brush here this is super cheap you can get it for like a dollar at home depot um I am using that. It did take quite a bit of paint, and I'm assuming that's because the cushion and everything is like soaking it up, but it's going pretty good so far. I'm actually pretty pleased with the progress. So I'm gonna move on to the rest of the cushions, and I don't know, I probably did mention this, but just in case I didn't, um, the ratio that we're using is one quarter latex paint, um, one quarter fabric medium, and half water in here. So I'm gonna continue painting the rest of these cushions, and then I'll check back in with you guys. Okay, we're on day two of the project. So I have the cushions drying. Um, they've been out, they've, they've dried overnight. And I, I brought them inside last night because it's really humid here. So they weren't getting as dry as I wanted them to. But there is some issues I have right now with spot, like the splotches and things like that. So I went ahead and grabbed another paint sample that I had. Um, it was a little bit more of a darker color. So hopefully this one will go over a little better and I can get rid of these splotches but I'm about to put the second coat on these are now fully dry because I pulled I pulled them back outside in the sun this morning as soon as I got up so they're fully dry I'm going to put coat number two on and then I'll show you guys how they come out okay well here is the finished product here um this is the glider it's fully dried we reassembled it and we put it up in the nursery now just ignore the placement because we're not sure exactly where it's gonna go, but um, I did wanna talk about kinda how it came out with the paint and the finish. So, as you can see, we, we did paint the fabric that gray color. The color came out fine. Um, with, this is with two coats. The only thing we did at the end was just take some uh, sandpaper, like a finer grain sandpaper, and just very, very lightly sand the entire thing so that it kinda made the finish a, a little bit softer. Um, all in all, it's not too bad. It's a little bit stiff, like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's a little bit stiff, but it's not anything that I'm 
too concerned about. I really feel like it'll work itself out over time. It's still very, very comfortable to sit in and I don't think we're gonna have any issues with it. Well, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you are new to my channel and you have not subscribed already, please do subscribe and I will talk to you guys later.